Hello, how are you my dears? You are keeping well. Aren't you? You are fine. Aren't you? Today also, we are going to listen to a conversation between two friends. Are you ready to listen? Okay, listen here. Let's listen to it. Ready? The friends are Shiva and Ritu. Shiva and Ritu. Shiva. Ritu, look there. The girl in blue churida got first place in pencil drawing competition. Ritu, are you sure? Shiva. Yes, I am. Ritu, but I have a doubt. Mm, let's ask her. Ritu, hello, good morning. You are the girl who won first place in pencil drawing competition. And you? You are the girl who won first place in pencil drawing competition, aren't you? The girl. Yes, I am. Shiva. The topic for the competition was rain. Wasn't it? The topic for the, the competition, competition was rain, wasn't it? No, it, it was, was cold. Ritu, cold? What a strange topic. Shiva, no, it's a nice one, isn't it? Yes, the girl replies. Ritu, we want to know more about your experience in drawing. Shiva, let's have an interview with you, shall we? The girl, okay, but not now. At one o'clock. You are free at one o'clock, aren't you? Ritu. Okay, see you. This is the conversation among three, two friends and a girl. Who is the girl? What is the speciality of the girl? She won first prize for pencil drawing competition. And do you know her name? She is Hita. What is her name? Yes, Hita. Okay, okay. let us see. So, so Shiva and Ritu are going to interview Hita. Okay, okay. Listen, listen here now. We have listened to the conversation. Now let's analyze the conversation, shall we? Are you ready? Let's analyze the conversation. You are the girl who won first place in pencil drawing competition, 
argue this is the question this is the comment by Ritu and my question is can you see a red colored short question at the end of this statement can you see what is the statement what is the uh, small question aren't you what is the use of uh, that question that short question can you guess make a guess what is the use of that very short question at the end of this statement okay the question at the end of the statement is intended to get confirmation from the listener confirmation here Ritu wants to confirm his statement so here also this short question is to confirm the statement ningal kettirikkya alle ningal kettirikkuga ennadoru statement aanu aa statement ine orappikkan vendi avasanam chodichadana alle that is uh, the, here the short question and confirm cheya to confirm uh, to make the confirmation from the listener that is okay uh, so what, what is the uh, short question here aren't you neeyana penkutti alle inna choichirikkana that's all aren't you uh, do you remember the conversation there are so many short questions in that conversation uh, let's find them out okay find out the short questions from uh, this conversation yes did you get it the second uh, short question yes this is wasn't it wasn't it the topic for the competition was rain wasn't it okay it is said by Shiva and there is one more it's a nice one, isn't it? It's a nice one, isn't it? Okay, that also is a short question. So here are three short questions <coughs> in this dialogues. Okay. The topic for the competition was rain, wasn't it? Which statement uh, does Shiva want to confirm here using this short question? Which is the statement Shiva want to confirm? Find it out. Yes, sure. It's very, uh, very simple. Which is the statement? Yes, read it. The topic for the competition was rain. That is the statement. And what is the short question at the end? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Okay. Now, do you know uh, the name of this short question is tag question. Such short questions are known as tag questions question tell me tag question once more tag question okay so such short questions at the end of a statement is known as tag question and what is the use of the tag question to confirm a statement to confirm 
a statement made uh, and it's usually uh, used in conversation okay so let us see more about converse, uh, tag question I will show you the conversation once more write down all the tag questions and its statement in your notebook okay Yes, write it down. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Write down the converse, uh, tag question and their statements. Okay. Yes, from the here also. Write down the tag questions and its statements. Yes, what are the tag questions and its statement? First one. You are the girl who won first place in pencil drawing competition, aren't you? Second, the topic for the competition was rain, wasn't it? Next, no, it's a nice one, isn't it? Fourth one, let's have an interview with you, shall we? Fifth one, you are free at one o'clock, aren't you? So, these are the short questions uh, in the conversation. Okay. Now, let us listen to the interview. And Ritu and Shiva are going to interview Hita. Okay, let's listen to them. Shall we? Here is a short question. Did you see? Shall we? Let's listen to them. Shall we? Okay, let's listen. Hita, good afternoon. You are so punctual. It's sharp one o'clock. Shiva, thank you for the compliment. Ritu, let's start, shall we? Shiva, Hita, your drawings are very beautiful. Who did teach you pencil drawing? Hita, my father is my first guru in drawing. Ritu, he helps you in making your drawings perfect, doesn't he? A short question. Hita, yes, he is my inspiration. Shiva, your father is a famous painter, isn't he? Again, a short question. Hida, yes, he has won many national awards for his paintings. Ritu, he has won Imam Hussain Award for his painting, hasn't he? Hida, yes. Shiva, why did you select pencil drawing instead of watercolor? Hida. I love black and white pictures. They are very cute, aren't they? Again, a short question. Again, they can suggest any mood and expressions, can't they? Shiva. Sure, you are right. Ritu. Thank you for spending your time with us. Wish you a great and successful life as an artist. Hida. Thank you. Now, you have listened to the interview. Didn't you? A short question. Didn't you? And...
statement. Now list all the statements <coughs> with CAD questions in your notebook. I will show you the conversation once more. So what are, what are you going to do? List all the uh, short questions it's, and its statement in your notebook. Ready? <coughs> Start. You are writing. Are you? Yes, continue. Okay, I hope you have finished writing. The statement with tag questions are check your notebook whether you are correct or not. Okay. First one, let us start, shall we? That is. Second one, he helps you in making your drawings perfect, doesn't he? Third one, your father is a famous painter, isn't he? Fourth one, he has won Imam Hussein Award for his painting. Hasn't he? They are very cute, aren't they? They can suggest any mood and expressions, can't they? Okay. So, they are the uh, sentences with tag questions. And let us see how we can frame tag questions. Tag questions are very interesting and they make the uh, conversation lively. So uh, let us uh, see how we can frame tag question. Okay, ready? Listen here. Your father is a famous painter. We are going to uh, create the tag, tag question for this statement. Remember, only statements have tag questions. Okay. Your father is a famous painter. To frame a tag question for a statement, the first thing is look for the auxiliary verb in the statement. Which is the auxiliary verb in this statement? Your father is a famous painter. Which is the auxiliary verb? Can you tell me? Which is the auxiliary verb in this statement? Your father is a famous painter. Which is the auxiliary verb? Yes. Is is the auxiliary verb verb here is yes. so write the auxiliary verb at the end of the statement here your father is a famous painter is ah, what is the next one is the next thing is to add note to it to is 
ഈസിൻ്റെ കൂടെ നോട്ട് ചേർന്നപ്പോൾ ഈസിൻറ് ഹൗ ക്യാൻ ബി ദാറ്റ് ഈസിൻറ് ഈസിൻറ് ഈസ് ദ ഷോർട്ട് ഫോം ഓഫ് ഈസ് പ്ലസ് നോട്ട് ലുഖിയർ ഈസ് പ്ലസ് നോട്ട് വാട്ട് ഡിഡ് വി ഗെറ്റ് ഈസിൻറ് ഈസ് എൻ അപ്പസ്ട്രോഫി ടി ഓക്കെ ഈസിൻറ് Then what what is next? What is next? the next thing? Let us see. So next thing is look at the subject of the statement. Subject of the statement. Your father is a famous painter. Which, which is, is the, the subject? subject? Can, Can anyone tell me which is the subject of this statement? Yes, your father is a famous painter. Yes, your father is the subject of this statement. So, next thing, find out the personal pronouns suitable for the subject. Subject in a chair in the or personal pronoun in a country. You know, what are the personal pronouns? Listen here, I will tell you. Which are the personal pronouns? pronouns here i you he she it they we these are the personal pronouns we are using in english once more i you he she it they we these are the personal pronouns and which personal pronoun is you suitable for your father which word we can use for your father yes tell me which word we can use your father yes we can use he so let us add he to our tag question isn't he isn't he what is the next thing yes i had a question mark that's all isn't he question mark our tag question is ready your father is a famous painter isn't he so how can we uh, prepare how can we create or make a tag question look for the auxiliary verb add not then add the personal pronoun and a question mark that's all now we can have a formula for our tag question and before that let us know why we add not to the tag question we added not isn't he not not is added and like why we added <coughs> not to the tag question what is the reason what what, what is, is our, our statement? statement your father is a painter your father is a painter a sentence le note undo no so the sentence is a positive sentence sentence is a positive statement without not angane anengil we should add not to the tag that is the rule okay if the sentence has no not in it we should add not to the tag okay അപ്പോൾ ഇനി സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റിൽ നോട്ട് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലോ നമ്മൾ ഷോ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ടാഗിൽ ആഡ് ചെയ്യണ്ട വി ഡോണ്ട് ആഡ് നോട്ട് ഇൻ ദ ടാഗ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ റോൾ സോ റിമെമ്പർ ഇറ്റ് ഇഫ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് നെഗറ്റീവ് വി വോണ്ട് ആഡ് നോട്ട് ഇഫ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് പോസിറ്റീവ് വി ആഡ് നോട്ട് ഗെറ്റ് ദ ഐഡിയ ഓക്കെ So now let's create a formula 
uh, to make kerosene tank. What is the formula? Can anyone tell me? What is the first thing for a tank kerosene? Auxiliary verb. Next thing, note uh, if necessary. Avishimengal note echarkana. Then, personal pronoun. And what is the next thing? Question mark. That's all. This is the formula for a tag question. Auxiliary verb plus. Yes. Next thing. Note. Note bracket. Why? It's optional. Next. Yes. Personal pronoun. And the last thing. A question mark. So, this is the uh, formula for creating a tag question. Write it down in your notebook. Don't forget. Tag question. Auxiliary verb plus note if, uh, if necessary. Then personal pronoun. Then question mark. Okay. Uh, shall we? Let us do some exercises. Shall we? Shall we say a question tag? Okay, supply the uh, question tag for each statement. Yes, here are six statements. Supply tag question. Yes, it is for, the time is for you to write down. Have you finished? finished? Yes, yes, I, I hope, hope you have finished. finished. Uh, let, let us uh, see whether you are correct or not. Check your notebook. I will tell you the answers, uh, the question tags. Okay. First answer, you are till the painter, aren't you? Are you correct? R is the auxiliary verb, U is the personal pronoun and note, we have added note because there is no note and question mark okay second answer can't she hida can draw very well can't she okay you know why it is so can is here the auxiliary verb note we added note then she she is the personal pronoun okay next one Have they? Arun and Vino haven't done the homework. Have they? Have. In the word have. Yes, it is the uh, auxiliary verb. Why? Statement is not on the having. Not on the. Not on the. Not on the. Not on the. Then they. Personal pronoun. Arun and Vino. What is the personal pronoun for Arun and Binu? They. Have they. <coughs> okay, next one. We are not going to read now. Are we? Simple. You can, you can analyze the question tag. Are we? Next. This is Nina's back. Isn't it? It. And it one bag in a So it. Yes. Next. We will finish the work in time. Won't we? Will you not go to journal? And the won't. We and the one one you know. Okay. So these are the answers. I think you are correct. If not, please correct your answers. Okay, now let's go for uh, one more thing about 
Kirsten Beck's visit. Okay, Kirsten's. Here is a statement. Please supply tag question for the statement. Our school team played well in the last match. Supply tag, tag question, write down the tag question for this statement. Patio, in the Prishnam, here is no auxiliary verb. Here is no auxiliary verb. Upon a mucker, Patila. Tag question the formula. What is the formula for tag question? Don't you remember? What is the formula? Yes, tell me. Yes, yes this, this is auxiliary verb plus, not plus, not if necessary. Personal pronoun plus question mark. So, which is the uh, auxiliary verb here? Can you find an auxiliary verb here? No. There is no auxiliary verb in the statement. So, we can take it from the main verb. Auxiliary verb is not Question tag is the auxiliary verb. From the main verb. From the main verb. Which is the main verb in this statement? Our school team played well in the last match. Which is the verb? Yes, tell me. Which is the verb? Yes. Okay. The main verb of the statement is played. P-L-A-Y-E-D. Played is the verb. Played in the verb. Did plus play. Played. Did plus play is equal to played. Played. Did the good chair than played. Did the auxiliary verb banana? Ah, karya. So, namka auxiliary verb kitty yellow. Which is the auxiliary verb? Did. Did is the auxiliary, auxiliary verb. Now, it's very easy to frame the question tag. Yes, did. Ah, did the kitty. Inni, note vena mo. Our school team played well in the last match. Ibada note on do. Illa, apa namka note teacher karam. Did in the good note teacher kaga. Then a personal pronoun. Our school team in the personal pronoun, which is that they, you know. <coughs> so did, they didn't, they. So which is our um, tag question? Tell me. Yes. Our school team played well in the last match, didn't they? Now, we have to say the auxiliary verb. Main verb is the main verb. We have to say the main verb. Let us see. Listen. Main verb in a pericha, auxiliary ed combo, namuka moon auxiliary ana kitanula chance leather. Only do kita does did. Do ever in the victim, does ever in the victim, did ever in the victim in Arian. Look at the uh, look at this box. Can you get an idea? Listen here, another box. Yes, yet another box. And here come yet another box. Okay, how can we split main verb 
to get an auxiliary verb. Listen, walk. Walk and the verb in a pirichal namukka get another do plus walk. Then walks. Does plus walk. Walked. Did plus walk. Next. Buy. Do plus buy. Buys. Does plus buy. Bought. Did plus buy. Now come come here. Make. Make in the name of the auxiliary and a picture to come back Yes, do. Make sound below. Does. Yes, sir. Jarna po. Namukha kitty auxiliary. Does sign Made. Past tense sign Past tense I po. Namukha kitty an auxiliary. Edana. Did done. Okay. Now come here. Speak. Speak a present tense sign up. Adal nene edha kitty. Do. Speaks. Yes, sir. Jarna wano. Singular I. Ad asp S Jarna Vanal Namukana auxiliary Adana Des. Then this is this is the past tense spoke. Which is the auxiliary we can get? Okay, did. Yes. So I think you get the trick uh, to um, split the main verb. If not, listen here. Get gets got. What which is the auxiliary we get from get? <laughs> we get from get. Yes, do. Gets. Does. Got. Got is the past tense form. So which is the auxiliary? Did. At another example. Here, look here. Listen. Which is the auxiliary? Do. Listens. S. So, does. Listened. Past tense. Which is the auxiliary? Did. Okay. So, now it's clear for you how to split a main verb to get the auxiliary verb. Okay. Didn't you? Uh, if you have doubt, Persistent doubt, ask me. I will tell you. Okay. Now, here are some exercises to reinforce the tag question. You are ready to do them, aren't you? <laughs> here is the tag question. You are ready to do them, aren't you? Note. In the note, sir, though. But a note is not in the note. That is the auxiliary word. In the note, you will know. That is the personal pronoun. Then question mark. Don't forget question mark. Okay. Okay, let's uh, write down the exercise. Take your notebook and a pen. Write down these sentences and uh, write down the tag questions also. I will wait for <coughs> you to finish the exercise. I hope you are writing. Are you writing? Have you finished? If you haven't finished that, please pause the class and pause the video and write down. Then restart. Resume. Okay? I hope you have finished now. Now let us uh, see what are the correct answers. Correct tag questions. Check whether your answers are correct or not. Okay? So the first answer, doesn't she? Demi studies well. Doesn't she? Does she have studies well? Okay, second one. Studies well. Does she have studies well? 
old people don't accept new generation fashion. Do they? Do. Do you have it? Ah, it is not. Don't. Ah, it is not. Do. Next. Sanyu brought this mangoes. Didn't he? Did he come here? Brought is the main verb. Brought is the past tense. So, didn't he? He can speak three languages fluently. Can't he? That's not the same thing. That's not the same thing. Yes. Next. They never come in time. Do they? Uh, do anyone have the doubt why there is no note? What is the note? Do they know another? I would note on the never. Or a negative sentence. They never come in time. Do they? Do you know another? Come another in the picture. Okay, next one. Rina reached the exam hall late. Didn't she? Everything on no did the ah, reached and the main were building in a picture together. Note the chart in the one dana. There is no, it's a positive sentence. So, note. Didn't she? Next. We dried our level best to get the work finished in time. Didn't we? Uh, did, did, you know, tried another in the period that did. Okay, next. Rhea doesn't use bad language. Does she? Would the one who does? I would aim that. Note your kind of in the one. Note on the negative sentence. That's all. You didn't work hard for the exam. Did you? The white ants ate up the big book in the shelf. Didn't they? Didn't. Did they have no other yellow? Ate in a verbal in a picture than eighty past in Sanello. They have no no. The white ants in the personal pronoun. Didn't they? So I hope uh, you understand how to frame. Tag questions. Okay. Now, it is a time for more exercise. If only we do more and more exercise, uh, we can uh, get a clear picture of tag questions. And I will give you more exercise, no doubt, in the class, in the group, I will give you more exercise. Before that, Uh, I have to say some more thing about tag questions. There are some exception exceptions. Uh, that is, इंगेने अल्लाह द नम्बर चाहिए ना चला चला statement डे गलोडे इंडा. हम कादूडी उन्हें नो के इटा exercise लेके पोवा. Okay, ready? Listen here. Let us let us do the exercise. Shall we? Okay. Let us, shall we? Next. Do it today itself. Won't you? Do it today itself. Do it today itself. Won't you? In the Irikim, Adinde, tag question. It will be a new one. I'm going to tell you a subject. He, she, it, pay, I, you. This is a statement that is not a statement. 
നമ്മൾ ഇമ്പറേറ്റീവ് സെൻറ്റൻസ് എന്നാണ് പറയുക അത്തരം സെൻറ്റൻസുകളുടെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ടാഗ് വോണ്ട് യു എന്നായിരിക്കും നമ്മൾ സ്ഥിരമായി അങ്ങനെയാണ് ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് തൽക്കാലം എട്ടാം ക്ലാസ്സിൽ നമുക്ക് അത്രയും മതി ഇതിൻ്റെ കുറേ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടാവും ബട്ട് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ഫോർ ദിസ് ടൈം സോ ഡോ ഫോർ ഗെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ഓൾ അബൌട്ട് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ടാഗ് ഫോർ ദ ടൈം ബീങ് ഇനിയുണ്ട് ഒരുപാട് കാര്യങ്ങൾ പറയാനുണ്ട് ബട്ട് ദിസ് ഈസ് ഓൾ ഫോർ ദിസ് എയ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ഫോർ യു ദ എയ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഓക്കെ so this is all for the time being and i will give you exercises more 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 and more exercises in our class and do it then you will be very comfortable with question tags okay see you in the group and see you in the next class till then bye bye see you